What's poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We're officially the biggest Digimon gameplay channel in the UK, so I appreciate everyone that has made that happen. If you haven't joined the growing subscriber base, then make sure to like the video and subscribe. Join the growing effort to just leave everyone else in the dust. As both these two are going to be looking to try and leave each other in the dust as far as speed is concerned. Very, very greedy opener on this list of the alpha. The king back, back at it again. This time with uh, very few rookies, as you'll have already seen in the list. Whereas rookies galore as Mr. Trickster Tricks. Back on the sticks, the techs on the decks, and the Terriamon with its eyes on security. The first of four rounds. Fanboy upgrading its round count. Slightly shorter rounds is going to be the plan, I think, next time with... Uh, Four rounds, so extra gameplay for you guys every single week, and I'll also be going to the Slice and Dice uh, locals as well, so potentially for an entire week, a whole new Digimon video coming out every single day, so if you are liking the content, it goes a massive way if you would hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because they're joining the growing list of members, we'll shout them out in a moment, but I also wanted to give a shout out to the people that have been supporting on the Twitch as well. Bunch of tier ones, but specifically uh, the Gifter, Caleb and Muriel Art, and then we have 49 month resub, it's all in the name. At tier two, we do have Chili Chids, and then we just gotta shout them out ahead of time. At the mega level, the brand new secret tier, the mega level, we have Just Justice, uh, Just Justice Josh at the mega level. Tier three on Twitch and at the ultimate tier on YouTube. Truly a homie supporting the cause. Playing around the rapid protection. We are just going to be going in from the looks of it. I think we both know that a Mega Gargamon Ace is potentially going to be staring him down. But the question is when the Ace comes through. Because you can try and stop the evolution to come through. If he goes for the swing. But I think this just means that we see Oryukan as the attempt to pop. I'm going to use the Proto Form to evolve into Alpha Mon for 3. The fact that he can now turn his... Uh, four cost alpha mons into three costs like the bt9 feels grim i mean there's also like defense training as well but putting in the x antibody means it's an extra source speaking of one cost story you can make it make sense we are going to clear the rapid having waited out the protection just going to swing and suspend a single time and then we're going to go for the defense training end of turn we'll then use the doru Greymon to load a source from hand What is it gonna be? It's gonna be another sword, and then end of turn, or you can gonna digi burst. Uh, is that six? Yep, that is six. So we're going back up to three. We have a fully live unsuspend. So let's run that puppy into security one more time. Are we gonna Zubagon first? Nope, just a regular. Woo! Gold rapid. Looked like a Congo for a second, but we're just gonna go for a Doru, which finds the Dex Doru. And we're just gonna go Black Memory Boost, setting up for the next one. The interesting thing about this build is, as much as obviously Alphamon more than capable of killing you into the sun if he finds his pieces, the rate that you just blitz through trainings, boosts, cool boys, he sent those Oryumons, and you know, if there's another Oryukan, he can just start building the second one on board. Is what I would say if the second one didn't immediately get shrunk. We're then gonna go for the Mega Gargomon Ace here to suspend and lock. It looks like it's the Cool Boy and the Oryukan. They're not gonna be able to unsuspend. I'm gonna swing. He's not looking to try and play for the crash because they need heal too. We're gonna swing, hit the Congo, which does lock down a little bit more, but we're going to get the D-Digivolve, and we're going to reboot on the start of Harry's turn. Man, it feels kind of criminal that Mega Gargamon Ace can lock you down so you don't unsuspend during your own unsuspend phase, and then has the cheek to go reboot and unsuspend on your unsuspend phase. What a little rat. Going to see the boost, and then we're going to go into Doru, which turns into Dex Doru. The problem is we don't have a way of shooting the Terriamon, because if the Terriamon turns into BT-8 Rapid, then the BT-8 Rapid is just going to suspend the Retail Blocker. 
yeah, he has declared retail blocker this time on the deck story. We're going to go into training. Do you go into the one off? Ooh. He's going to go into the old one. So that way, if we see a, if we see a Dorymon, then we'd rip it off the top and gain back hella memory. But instead, we're going to go into deck story, which is going to shoot the Terriamon for the clear. Neither of these stacks can attack, but you can also just slam. Ooh, yes. BT9 Alpha, the Digivolve, evolves for three, prints four. Squeezing memory out of thin air. And then... Wait, oh, he went for the rapid. It still has the protection. Okay, no, I still like that because he can load a Dorymon, which then gives him the memory print, and then can go for the clear. Evolves for the full seven, but then overflow four, brings it back to three. Could end of turn to try and cycle it back. I think he's, yeah, it looks like he's just going to spend all of it. Gets the memory back. Now, that's kind of what I was saying about this build with Alphamon, where it can just, it's, like we've talked about memory printer for Imperial. But this one, unironically, is like, uh, it's just like a cookie machine or like, hell, if you, you ever been to like Krispy Kreme and you see like the donut rack, it's just, they're just like assembling donuts. Those donuts are Alpha Mon or Ryukin, and he's just got the assembly line that will secure them, but unfortunately for him, not secure the game. Matrix What's poppin' tamers? We're back with Play Armor once again. A bunch of people ask me why I drink Play Armor, and it's because they sponsor me. Duh. Jokes aside, I actually was drinking Play Armor before all of that, because I actually don't have much of a sweet tooth, and I find a lot of energy drinks to be too sweet, especially a lot of the powder brands, but the no sugar approach for Play Armor and their focus on more tart, like sour flavors, really suits my palate. The Fruit Punch is really just fruity and packs a nice kick. The Blue Raspberry is really, really nice as well, nice and sour, kind of like when you get those slushies. If you want something a little bit on the sweeter side, that's the Strawberry Lemonade, which is more strawberry than it is lemonade. And they do have the lemon flavors as well. And I can tell you for a fact that the new black cherry flavor goes foolish. Uh, but uh, yeah, the way I mix mine is by getting the dry powder in and then getting a little bit of water in and just mixing it around to try and make a slurry. Then I add up to half the bottle and shake it a baby. All right, we're going into game two. As we get sorted and the players start getting set up, I just want to say a massive thank you to the members and supporters that have been supporting the channel. At the super secret mega tier, we do have Just Justice Joss, as I said before. Then at the ultimates, we have the Tommy NT and Tommy Tricks on the sticks, as well as three strike rule. Over at Champions, we do have Shinny Carry, Coffee Deus, and newly upgraded DHM. For the rookies, we have Bradley Robb, Seb Bainbridge Coombs, and then at DigiX we do have Tamer Jambo and John Esposito, as well as a whole host of armor tier for uh, all of the Twitch subs, whether they were gifted or whether they are recurring prime or tier ones. Want to say thank you for everyone that has been supporting this content creator journey. I quite literally could not do it without you, and uh, I'll be using the funds to help bolster the channel and do more with it, as well as. Now, go to more locals as much as I can and try and put on more content for you guys. That way, maybe we can get closer to daily. It'll be certainly a grind, but it'll be worth it for you guys, especially if you can all make sure that you're at least subscribed. I'm sure some of you are returning viewers, but maybe haven't clicked the button. Just double check. Sometimes YouTube often subscribes you. Maybe you've been trolled, gimmicked by the website itself. For security to five, we're gonna see a promotion here with the Doru Gray. One cost Gargo, pop the training, go into one cost Rapid. It's going to get the Digivolve, and because it has the protection, it can just swing through the retail. Which is honestly a pretty clever way to clear. Uh, I don't think, I mean, we don't need to double Typhoon here. Ryuda's not going to turn into like a deck story super quickly, or at least not on one memory, but even then. Playing out Terrier to find a new Terrier, suspend. Oh, there's no. There's no uh, thingy. That is kind of unfortunate. No tamers for the suspension, so we'll not get the clear, but it's a, it's a stickier body. It's harder to get rid of. You're playing into black, so it's not going to be like you're going to get DP minus shrunk through it. You are just risking getting shot, and Armor Purge is quite happy to take a bullet. 
And now the Nyaro hatched in the back. I'm a big fan of going for these DP eggs over the draw power. It helps in your Mirage matchup to not be drawing every time you go sideways. But also just being slightly beefier. Those 1Ks are starting to add up. We're definitely getting into a meta where like 1K is a difference maker. I'm going to swing in, hit a boost. So it looks like we are definitely on some sort of crack back. I like the Rapid here to just make sure that you're on protection. Sure, they're both level 5 now. But if you were at level 4, Dex, Doru, Greymon would be able to pop a 4 to get the armor purge. And then you're running the risk. Being on a undeletable body at least gives you protection for the turn. You can see H is starting to try and figure out that lethal clock. And because he has a rapid underneath it, even if he gets the D Digivolve onto the rapid mon, it's still going to uh, blast Evo into a Mega Gargomon because the Mega Gargomon is over rapid mon in name. Well, it's, I mean, it's over Rapid Mon or Gargamon, so like it can go over the fours and the fives. Dexter, we're not going to pop anything. We are going to attempt the D Digivolve and succeed. Print a little bit more memory back. And you can see he's just fanning through. At the very least, this will shoot the other Rapid. And there goes the Digi Burst, and we've got all the value that we can. We're going to leave the Doru Gray for the one up. I mean, we know that we're not going to unsuspend. We chose to go for the swing, so that pretty much reveals that there's no Mega Gargo Ace here. I'm gonna go into Doru Greymon, swing over the Terrier that way. Now, swing is gonna be two checks. Oh, we're not using the Yuji to load, so I guess we're missing an Oriumon. We're gonna go Congo there. We're going to just have the Doro Greymon pass things over. I'm sure there is a world where he could have gone, like, hell for leather to try and lethal this one out, but it's not meant to be. Three Tamers, though, is going to suspend three and clear three, and then Rapid. Congo is a fantastic card, but green is specifically the color that really doesn't care about it. It says you cannot swing at players, but if the Rapidmon is looking to run the fade on Oriukan, then we certainly can. Instead, we're going to see Mega Gargomon Ace go down for the lockdown. A second Congo here would stop it from being able to go check, check, value. Dorymon in the back, setting up for the next stack. Is this just like a cool boy setup turn? We're going to go Black Memboost. Okay, so that finds... Yeah, I picked up the next Oriukan, so this next one is not really expected to make it back to him. We're going to go Dex Doru Greymon in the back. I guess it wouldn't really matter what it is. I think the boost was to try and find a four. So we're going to swing. Ooh, the Congo goes for the... S That's huge, actually. The Congo stops him from swinging through. This one was looking like it should have been check, check, boom. But, uh... Uh, Alphamon really is the best deck that can play Congo, and therefore, one of the decks of all time. I mean, there's enough black pieces now in Terriamon that they could definitely, they could definitely be running Congo. Now the question is, with uh, five little things in the bottom of his uh, battle area, is he cooked? We see a Dorumon, we see a memory printed, we see a deck story grade to pop. And is this BT9 Rapid? Uh, BT9 Alpha, even? Memory printed. Alpha Mon found. Floodgate down. Sword loaded. Vibes immaculate. Oh, uh, yeah, show him the proto. Just do it anyway. Print the memory. Oh, you are so dead. Swing three checks. I lied. Well then. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Maybe it's time to put Breath of the Gods back in. <laughs> well, I mean, he's printed up memory now that he should be able to make uh, Dex Doruga. If he has another... Did he go through all of them for that stack? 
Is is he out of decks, Dorigas? Okay, now we have decks. Blocker retail, please go into a five. Oh wait, Rapid just suspends anything, right? It doesn't care. You'd have to make Oh but wait, there's too many tamers. How does he there's no way out of this, right? Dex yeah, like we're just going straight dexes. We're Ooh, trying to go reboot to see if he can unsuspend. We're gonna put the flood gate down, but no Congo. So we're like we're setting up for the next turn. If it makes it back to him, or you can is coming for that security for the third time in a row. Maybe he just doesn't have the rapid. Maybe he isn't holding the right one. Oh, he's not holding the right one. He finds Mega Gargamon. Oh, are we gonna bio merge? No, we are not. It is not the right one. We're gonna HPD to seal it out. Yo, what a clear from Mr. Tricks on the stick. Security is certainly the mechanic of all time. But the new techs also coming through on the decks. If you like what you saw and you do want to see more, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button, slam a like whilst you're there, and as always, have yourselves a damn good one. <laughs>